A drug and alcohol abuse remain the most common addictions in Singapore with more than 1,000 new cases each year. But there's a growing group that requires attention as well. People who suffer from internet and gaming addiction. Senior Minister of State for Health, Dr. Janil Puticheri, made the point at a virtual event organised by the National Addictions Management Service. Today, we expect that internet and gaming addiction rates, especially among the youth, will rise over the years. So it's important that NAMS keeps up with emergent addiction trends and that you tailor your services for at-risk groups. And to mark this year's National Addictions Awareness Day, former addicts also came together to share their recovery journeys. Uh, they spoke about how seeking help was an important first step. Well, we want to take a closer look at the challenges faced by people suffering from addictions. And for that, we're joined by Thomas Koh, Assistant Counselor at the Institute of Mental Health. Uh, Mr Koh, you did share with us that you turned uh, to drugs when you were very much younger. Uh, what made you seek and reach out for help and what was rehabilitation like? Thank you for having me. I, I would say that definitely desperation and resources you know, not having any resources and support and, you know, limited friends and facing a lot of health issue, bankruptcy, that actually forced me to, you know, seek help externally. And so you're now helping others who suffer from substance use disorder. What are the misconceptions that people have about such addictions? Yes, there are very, a lot of misconceptions about, you know, having real power to just, just able to be able to stop drugs. And, you know, in the advanced stage of addiction, many, many of the sufferer actually continue to, to, to use substances just, just to feel normal and function normally. It is not no longer just seeking pleasure. So these, these are the misconceptions. You know, uh, I, I, I would like to, to emphasize for those who are quitting, it, it is not easy at all. Mm. And why is that? Why is it so challenging for those who suffer from addictions to overcome it? And at what point is medication necessary? Mm. Recovery is not just you know stopping the substance. It is more of a total lifestyle changes. You know, change, it is more that is including changing job avoiding using drinking's friend and the attitude that you have in, in your personal life. And in, it is also a chronic mental disorder condition. And I'm not a medical doctor, but based on my life experience, I can tell you it is necessary to manage the psychological and physical withdrawal symptom, uh, having some uh, medication within the, the medical field. It is very important to to, to, to manage all these symptoms, the body ache, the tremor, and the, the nausea. All circumstances will be different, but circumstances do also play a part in addiction. How big of an impact has the pandemic had on those who are trying to recover from their addiction? Hmm. The, the pandemic definitely, you know, have some pro and con. I would I say one thing that came out uh, positively is to, you know, NAMS, we, we are starting to change to see our client online. And in fact, we have actually pushed our support group online for the past, you know, almost two years. We have actually uh, able to, to, to gather all our client and, and the family members to, to meet online. And we, we are able to, to, to move away from space constraint. We are able to actually allow them to, to, to come in on, online at their convenience. And also, uh, I would say, you know, even the medical services that we, 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 are, we, are, we are conducting uh, is via teleconsult. And this actually improved a lot of patients' ease of accessibility for, to treatment. And finally, you know, when we move forward in this area of tackling addictions, you know, are there specific areas that you feel need to be looked at and, and why? Mm. With or without the pandemic, you know, it takes a whole village to help a person suffering from addiction. 
Yeah. To improve the outcome, I would say that you know family supports and you know the community partner play a very important role. And you know uh, we will need to continue to educate the public and also the community partner to to increase the awareness and the knowledge of addiction. All right. Uh, we were joined by uh, Thomas Koh, their assistant counsellor at the Institute of Mental Health. Thank you so much for your very candid sharing.